Um, so I have a question about um, my internship. So um, currently I'm interning for a search fund and um, I've been interning for them like um, for about three months. And so basically what, I, what, what I've done was about um, sourcing um, like a different like companies for them. And they just, they, they are going to start a, a new program it's kind of completely different than sourcing. So basically I will get to work on um, cars with the um, investment banks and, and private equities like, like brokers. So um, I'm not sure if I, if I just stay in the internship because I, I know you typically um, suggest to, you know, stay, stay in the internship for two months. Uh, so, your question is, you've been there for three months already. Should you stay on so that you can participate in this different program, basically? Yes. And I, I still have, like, um, I would say six to seven weeks before the new quarter kicks off. Six to seven weeks before the new quarter kicks off? Uh, mm -hmm. Um. So I mean, what do you do? Like, okay, you participate on these calls with bankers and brokers, and then, and then what? Like, what are these calls? What are these calls about? And like, what are you going to be doing specifically? So first, it's about to um take some notes about the industry, and also to to like engage to see if they have interest in um finding investors for the searchers, and also I'll be working on. Um, just it, to to see if they can share the, the their deal flow with the search firm in the course, and they have course kind of um I will conduct basically like five calls with the with those brokers every week. Okay, mm -hmm. I mean, isn't that just another form of sourcing, or am I missing something? Like, I'm, I'm not question. Um, yeah, it's kind of sourcing, but. Um, like um, in the past three months, I, I just you know work on a lot of grunt work, like on LinkedIn Sales Navigator. I don't get a chance to um, like um, this chance to kind of practice networking skills or conversation skills. I see. Um. So what you're running these calls on your own or? Um. I think um, the searcher will first um, demonstrate maybe in the first two, he, he will lead the call in the first, maybe um, the first two or three calls, and then I will get to work on myself. Are you the only intern or are there other interns? There are a lot of other interns, like three to four. So everyone's going to be doing this? Yes. At the same time, like you guys are all going to be on the same calls. Not same, uh, separate calls. You guys all get your own calls. Okay. Um, I don't know, man. Um, I think part of that depends on, you know, what else you already have on your resume. Um, like there's a limit to how many relevant internships you can have on your resume anyway. Right. So like, mm -hmm. uh, like between now and when recruiting starts, which I guess for you, you're trying to recruit for summer 2024, right? Right. So like the recruiting for that will probably start, you know, uh, I'm guessing be by the end of this year. So, you know, in the next three or four months, right? Mm -hmm. And so you could probably between now and then, you could probably squeeze in, definitely squeeze in one more internship. Um, maybe if you want to be really aggressive, you can fit in two more internships. You won't complete the second internship, but you'll be able to start it before you have to start applications, right? So like, but like, and I don't have your resume in front of me right now, but like, you know, if you already have like three mm -hmm. relevant internships on there, like adding another one or two is, uh, like the marginal, the incremental marginal utility on each one is 
is lower, the more experiences you already have, right? Uh, does, that, does that make sense? And so versus like, if you only have one internship on your resume right now, mm -hmm. I would say like getting another one or two would be a lot more valued, right? So that's part of the calculations. Um, and then the other thing is, okay, so like you get to do this like different task of like being on these calls, mm -hmm. but you have to think about it. I would think about it from the standpoint of like, um, does this give you more stuff to talk about in an interview? Like if you were in an interview and if a few months from now, if you're in an interview, or someone 2024 internship and they ask you about this internship experience at this search fund like does this give you a lot more to talk about like or, or is it like still kind of just more of the same you know like that that's kind of like the question that i would be asking because if it's just still sourcing but just like a different form of sourcing mm -hmm. i don't know right now you're doing a lot of grunt work right but like are you actually having to, I don't know, like look into any of these companies and in, in any way, shape or form that's like, you know, beyond just surface level, you know, like, is there at least like, like your goal is to like walk away from this internship. Ideally, your goal is to walk away from this internship with at least one, at least one company. It doesn't even have to be more than one, just one company. One or two companies that you can like talk about knowledgeably, intelligently, and like demonstrate that you've thought about what makes this business a good investment or not a good investment, right? Like, and so if you feel like you haven't been able to do that yet so far, either like, like if you were to leave today and not stay any longer, I would be going back and looking at some of the companies that you've had to, that, that you um, had to touch so far and try to like see if you can craft some sort of story around one or two of them, right? I don't know if you've been like focusing on a specific industry. Mm -hmm. In one case, like maybe you talk about, um, just like try to become an expert on that industry, right? For example, or like, like whatever niche it is that you guys are going after, like become knowledgeable about that niche, become knowledgeable about like that business model and like what's good about it, what's not good about it, you know, things like that, right? That That's what would be most valuable. Or like, you know, if getting on these calls, I don't know, I guess these bankers and brokers are going to be pitching some of these companies to you that that they're trying to sell, right? And then like, what happens from there? Like, do you then, are you going to then do like, take like a closer look at the companies that look interesting? Are you then going to get to like, you know, do a deeper dive on some of these companies, right? Like, because if so, then, you know, that could be valuable, right? But like, if it's just like, hey, I'm going to get on these calls and they're going to talk to me about these companies and then not going to look at any of them closely. Like, I'm just going to, I don't know what you will be doing. I don't know what you're being asked to do by your boss, right? Mm -hmm. But like, if you're not going to be doing anything like that, then it feels like kind of just more of the same, right? Like, it's just more of the same of what you're doing right now. So those are like the two main questions that you have to answer, which is like, what incremental experience am I really getting by staying? And then also like, the opportunity cost of staying is that, you know, I can't go out and find something else, but like how much, how beneficial is it if I can get something else from my resume based on the current shit that my resume is already in? Does that make mm -hmm. sense? And I also don't know if you have anything else lined up right now. Like if you decide to leave today, like, do you have anything? Or is it that like, you still need to look for something, right? Because if you still need to look for something, then like, looking for something might take time too, right? And so, I don't know, that, those are the kind of the different things that I would be weighing. Does that make sense? Yeah, thank you so much. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're looking for more customized advice that's tailored for your specific situation, then I invite you to book a free strategy session with our team at the link below. We'll talk to you soon.